video. My name is Diana Rendon and this is my third video out of five for Internship 2, Pasantías Preprofesionales 2. Today's topic is have you read the news? In this video, I will explain how I would approach a 45-minute video for students of second of baccalaureate, uh, students in segundo de bachillerato. Before I begin, I begin, I would like to talk about the teaching methods and something you might have noticed uh, in all of my class plans. That is that I list okay, the uh, community language learning as one of the methods I use during my lessons. But if you look for these uh, methods uh, down here, you won't find it on any of my lesson plans. Why is that? Uh, uh, the reason behind this is the very nature of the community language uh, learning. Uh, this uh, teaching method tries to reduce anxiety in the student and create a low stress uh, environment in the class while also uh, encouraging a cooperative work between the students. So that is something I constantly maintain in the class and that is not something that is uh, present in only one or two aspects of the classroom. It is in everything. Uh, next, I will talk about the order in which I will present the class to my students. I will start with the anticipatory set, move on to the warm-up activity, and then explain the objectives of the class, which, like I said before, I forgot to do in class number one, in the PD for class number one. So, students um, that uh, know the objectives of the class tend to do better. Now, for the anticipatory set, I have chosen to share a few news articles with the students from the site um, linguahouse.com. This is an ESL uh, site that shares news articles, but the interesting point about this site is that it advertises or it explains the level of proficiency the students must have in order to be able to read and understand the news article. Like here, it says COVID-19 vaccine breakthrough, but the students must have B2 and C1 a level of proficiency to be able to read this. My students in second of baccalaureate uh, are intermediates uh, with B1.1 level of proficiency. So, not this one. Now, this one, US selection victory for Biden and Harris. Intermediate B1, B2, they should be able to read this article. Now, if you look at the objectives of the lesson, one of the objectives of the lesson is um, infer information from the news headlines. And in this warm up activity, this is exactly what we are going to do. Uh, at the moment of the class, I will select uh, news articles the students are able to read. Not this one, uh, not this one, this one, and the previous one. And let them only read the headline. The headline is, the, uh, is this, what the news article is more or less about. Now, reading the headline, I will open a discussion in the classroom and let students um, talk about what they think the news article will be about. Like, this is pretty straightforward, but this one it says live on Venus. Like, what they think this is about? Is this exaggeration? Is this science? Is this... Uh, just a prank, whatever it is, I let them talk about it and repeat the process with other articles. And this is my anticipatory set, sending a team or introducing the class. Next, I move on to the warm-up activity. 
again, a short video so I can manage my, my time and keep the students engaged and motivated. Now, um, this video is about a school for tired teens. This is a BBC News article. For this part of the lesson, I will again only present at first the um, a headline of the news and let the students talk among themselves uh, discussing what they believe the article will be about. Next, we watch the the article. Let me make sure I'm sharing the sound. Okay, let's try that again. Nine in the morning and Cassie is still in bed. Most schools have already started for the day, but Cassie's school now starts later, much later. It runs from half past one in the afternoon till seven in the evening. Morning, Mum. Waking up later and getting more sleep has had a dramatic impact on life at home. I used to get really annoyed when my mum trying to wake me up. I'm sorry, <laughs> but um, now she doesn't really have to. I can just do it on my own. I don't see her, you know, looking tired. And, uh, you know, even if you're older, if you feel tired, and you're likely, you know, strop it to summer, but uh, she's much better. They've changed the start time at Cassie's school, not because they think their sixth formers are lazy. The decision's based on more than 20 years of research into the teenage body clock. The cards really are stacked against them because they are overriding nature by getting up, quote, early uh, in the morning in order to be at, on time for school. Overriding nature? What is the science here? We ask the students to explain it. Our body clock is located in the brain, in the hypothalamus, and specifically in the suprachiasmatic nuclei. These cells are responsible for all our 24-hour timing systems in the human body. In adolescence, as the brain continues to grow and develop, the body clock shifts to two to three hours later. A seven o'clock start time for a teenager is equivalent to a 4.30 wake-up time for an adult. Okay. And was, uh, once we have finished watching the whole video, I will again open discussions, be, uh, open dialogue between the students, what they think about this, are they in agreement, are they not in agreement, are they um, happy with these studies, with this news, would, would they like to be in this kind of school that starts later, later in the day? Now, I am focusing on communication and also sleep, uh, teenagers and school is something uh, the learners are highly likely to find in their daily life. This, uh, I think it's fair to call this uh, a part of the lesson that it uses a community language uh, learning. Uh, remember, community Communicative language learning pays special attention to communication and it, it talks about everyday situations the students or the learning is highly likely to encounter. Next, I will ask the students to read a news article um, and read it and then interact with the extra links provided uh, through ThinkLink. Now, is the article. It talks about uh, researchers uh, finding an incredible uh, ice age rock paintings in the Amazon. Uh, again, they can use the software to read the news for them. And uh, here's the second part. And if they want to read the full article, it is in this link by here. Let's wait a little bit. And this is the full article right there. Now, once they have finished reading, I want them to uh, take a small uh, test regarding comprehension questions. Uh, to be able to do that, they need to go to uh, thatquiz.com. To take the test, the students copy the test code like so go to the page, they do not need to be registered, introduce the code, select their name, and then read the instructions and start taking their comprehension questions. It is five questions, this is the first one, and whatever they do right or wrong, it will be immediately graded. 
with that done, I will uh, provide feedback and I will be prime and ready to help students that have questions or are curious about the reasoning behind the answers. And this feedback uh, for this formative assessment will help, um, will also serve as a close up activity. That is all for my third video. Thank you for watching.